Jen and obviously today I'm back in my bathroom again because I wanted to share with you what is in my shower. I've never actually done a what's in my shower video but I actually really love watching them so I thought it would be really fun to share with you guys what is currently in my space for where I clean myself. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is the current body wash I'm using. It's the Olay Sensitive Body Wash, which I've been really loving lately. I actually talked about this in my sensitive skincare video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave an annotation right over there so you can click and watch that. But basically, this is just your really amazing, super moisturizing body wash. And I really love that it's unscented because I'm quite sensitive to fragrances. And this one is just pretty amazing. It actually has an entire jar of moisturizer inside. I definitely feel that because you know how some body washes like make your skin feel like squeaky clean and then as soon as you step out of the shower you just feel like all the moisturizer is sucked out of your body. I really hate that feeling and this definitely doesn't do that. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is my shampoo and conditioner and I'm currently using the Pantene Pro-V Repair and Protect shampoo and conditioner set and I like this one because it is a damage controlling one and because I kind of got my hair colored I use a curling iron on it sometimes I just want to really make sure that it doesn't have a lot of damage so I've been using this kind so now we are going to move on to that wall over there next I wanted to talk about this little shower console thing that hangs on the shower head and I usually just keep lighter things on this one like I'll rotate out my face washes or things like that but I'll start at the bottom here we have these his and hers Salix body scrubbers if you guys are Asian you probably already know what this is but they're like really exfoliating body scrubbing things like it's kind of rough but you feel really extra clean when you use these and I use them instead of those like scrubby, squishy, like loofah things that other people use for their body wash. I love using these. If I travel, I absolutely have to take this with me because I just don't feel clean unless I use it. And then right above that, I have my toothbrush. It's the Nimbus toothbrush, which is kind of neat because it has these little fibers in it that are extra long. So it's kind of like flossing your teeth as you're brushing. And then above that, I have my little shower cap. This one is by Aqua Lilies for Tarte. So it's like really adorable with this little scaling pattern. And what I like about shower caps is I don't use it like normal people would to keep their hair dry. I actually use this after I will put in a conditioner or deep conditioner in my hair. So I'll just put this over my head after I am all conditioned to look really cool. <laughs> but it's just protecting my body from the conditioner because I don't really like it rinsing down my body. I like using that, that's a little extra shower tip. So now let's move on to this side. So on this side, there's a little glass wall. It's part of the front of the shower. So we like to put things on there that have little suction cups. So this is starting with a anti-fog mirror that Ben has. He just puts his little razors and stuff in here and then he can shave in the shower. And then below that I have my razor and this is the Schick Intuition. I really like this because you don't have to have a separate shaving cream so it just keeps things a little bit less cluttered inside. And then below that we have one of my favorite things in the whole shower which is my squeegee. <laughs> I don't know if you guys use a squeegee in your shower, but I really, really love using this. After every single time my husband and I shower, we literally squeegee all of the walls and the shower and the glass and everything so that there isn't extra mold or water spots that grow on everything. It's always just really better for you to kind of get rid of all of the excess water as much as possible. And it's just really kind of gratifying to squeegee glass surfaces especially because water just slicks off and you feel like it's like being really productive or something. So I love having that. It hangs right in here at all times so that it's right there and ready to use. So one last thing, this is the Nature's Miracle Gentle Puppy Puppy Shampoo. And this is in here because we kind of recently discovered that Oreo 
loves to hop into the shower. Like he's always interested in what we're doing whenever we're showering. So we decided to bring the puppy shampoo in here. I literally gave him a bath in the shower because he loves coming into the shower. Like he's always really liking to lick the water and I think he just likes it because it's like mom or dad is already in the shower. So he wants to be close to us and it's just really cute. He does not like to take a shower or bath in the sink like it kind of freaks him out but we discovered like this is the easiest and best way so i guess this is my final shower product is puppy shampoo so i guess that is about it i hope you guys enjoyed looking at what's in my shower and if you guys liked this then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel this is jen and i will talk to you guys next time bye Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you another fashion haul. I don't know if it's just me, but I've been really obsessed with kind of like rib and skeleton and skull imagery. All of my other workout pants are just like plain black, so I thought this would be really fun to mix it up a little bit.